up motherfuckers it's moist Alex bringing you another video how you guys doing it has been a journey we are back where we need to be we are here it's the return of the moist we are back bay B how you guys doing man hopefully everybody if you're new to this channel you have been doing extremely well and I hope you enjoy your stay here for those of you who have not have been well let me say this who are not new to the channel but you've been here before you might have left welcome back I hope that I can keep you this time and if you're still here how you fucking doing god damn it god damn it we are back baby man it feels fucking good to do this shit again I've been waiting for ages decades i just kidding not decades but i've been waiting a long time to finally get in this uh get this shit going let's say that really been waiting man and the biggest problem is time is a motherfucker so a lot of stuff going on in my life to where i just uh, my time is packed man and it's like shit i ain't even really had time to play the game like that so you know trying to get back into the swing of things and you know just kind of get back into the groove and you know just sucks bro fucking sucks but we're here we're here we're never left we never left i just took a break from making vids and stuff so i don't think i left the game it's just the vids the vids the vids the vids i just couldn't make vids or stream or do anything like that so this is what we've been doing for our lives up until this point so getting into what uh what let's start from the beginning so for those of you who you know this story already but for those of you who don't welcome in why did i just drink that i don't know see it's that random shit right there anyway um 2015 year of the dark so what happened to me in 2015 kind of led to a lot of this stuff that's going on now good stuff though but what ended up happening man uh you know i had if you don't know me personally then um you know I'm an entrepreneur, so my mom had a business that we started and everything, and we were trying to get this stuff to really be like a full-time thing so I could focus on video school and just do a bunch of content that I love, play games, and just make, you know, make a living off of it, you know what I'm saying, not have to work for somebody else, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. Life hit us in the ass, and we had to just, you know, redirect. I can still do that, but we had to redirect, so... I had a thing where as long as I helped my mom out and stuff like that, she let me stay and, you know, you're talking rent free and everything. I'm, I'm, I mean, I was paying rent, but through my labor and everything, helping her with a business. So she was working full time and everything as an accountant and everything, making decent money and all that. So what ended up happening was we had a situation where her company got rid of their entire accounting department. Like they completely put it out to third party sources and she ended up losing a full time position. Luckily, we had been working so hard on the company during the weekends and shortly after her work, and I had been working on it throughout the day to get it to where it can make us enough money to cover bills and stuff, but it's not guaranteed. You know, when your sales is just not, you know, when you're buying and reselling stuff, it's just not a guarantee. You don't know when you'll get the money, but you can make enough to say, okay, I can, I know I'll make enough by the end here and there. It's, it's, it's typical stuff, but again, selling stuff is not a guarantee and that's what we ran into so the first year was you know first six months was great you know fantastic loved every bit of it um during that time we was able to find us a new place to stay in we had uh, this guy had a place and he was like look as long as you guys come here and uh you pay your money on time you can stay here saved us like a couple hundred a month and you know it was just great you know we paid them personally we didn't have to pay on schedule he's like let me know when you get paid and i'll set that for the day so cool so normally the way it was money was released on mondays every week so we scheduled to pay tuesdays the first tuesdays of the month to pay rent so it kind of worked for us but it also worked for them because then they can have their money by the end of the week and can deposit everything you know like i said it just it just worked well for them so it worked for everybody well what ended up happening was this guy grew to like my mom because he liked her mindset and the way she thought made passes at her she wasn't trying to hear she wasn't interested so i mean you know whatever he got mad upset 
And what ended up happening was we ended up having a situation where we had to move uh, because he wanted to evict us because there was one Monday where we didn't get paid and PayPal delayed it to that Thursday. And he evicted us for two days of not paying and because we was $50, uh, uh, $50 short. So we had the money, but because of the way things have been going, we couldn't always pay ahead anymore. You know, we always pay like a couple weeks ahead and just to make sure it was covered. But we couldn't do that anymore. We was paying more like it just got closer and closer to the dates of being due and then finally we was gonna pay that day before it was due and unfortunately we just couldn't make it in time so uh it it drew some blood and it, it kind of hurt because in texas you only get five days after the official court date you have of your eviction to move out so that ruined things for us and you know we put ourselves back a couple steps because of that but hey it happens right uh, people were petty things happen whatever you know we moved on and we had friends luckily uh, me and my brother moved in with some friends of ours so he went with his friend I went with mine and we all got split up I ended up getting a chemical job a chemical cleaning um, cleaning chemical job dirty industry bro dirty job manual labor hot in the heat all that stuff so I ended up getting one of those jobs and uh, doing hydro blasting and it started off at 14 an hour so from a guy that was making nine an hour doing you know line cook stuff and then I was doing 10 an hour with my mom and stuff and you know it just it was a big jump up from from what I was making and it was full time so I was guaranteed to get 40 hours that's what I was told I was guaranteed to get 40 hours a week so they was like but you might work 100 hours you might work 80 hours so I was, you know in my mind I'm young I'm like man I can work all the hours I'm good I ain't got no responsibilities I ain't got no kids I ain't got no girlfriend I ain't got nothing but then I ended up getting a girlfriend. I was like, okay, now this is starting to get a little bit fucked up because I can't see her as much as I want to. Just a lot of stuff was starting to change, but I stuck with it. She grinded it out with me and everything. She understood uh, if I couldn't see her certain days and stuff. So, you know, it really worked. You know, we made it work and lovely. I'm still with her today. You know, it is now my fiance but uh we worked it out and everything and you know she stuck around through a through a motherfucker going through those hardships and stuff man and that's what really made me uh want to be with her and stay with her so um we go from there to uh getting a project they gave me a project to work on so um so i did a lot of overtime 100 hour work weeks and I was able to get a deposit down to get my family back. So we ended up getting a house and we ended up getting a place together again, brought everybody back. We back at the same spot, man, family back together. Let's grind and try to get this business going so we can retire early. Right. So we move, we doing stuff. I enroll in the school at this time too. new job decides. To, I mean, old job, you know, this is the chemical cleaning shit still is still the same job, but they decide that they want to work me 80 hours now after I enrolled in school. I said, that's a bunch of bullshit. And they said, well, the reason why they're doing this is because they don't want to lose me and all this other stuff. They realize that my degree could probably send me elsewhere and they really want to keep me. So they can't promise that I'm going to work eight to five anymore. They're going to take me off the project. I'm like, man, that's some fucking bullshit. You know, it's just a little project that I could do on my own. I was working by myself. I, you know, worked really well with the, you know, the VP people of Dow. And it's like, you know, and because I was well fucking spoken, like people always think they can just go talking to anybody and kind of way. like you got a bunch of niggas is that there. Yeah, man, we got that motherfucker done. How y'all doing today? How y'all, you know, just going there all ignorant, bro. Like you can't be talking to fucking vice presidents and shit like that. Like you can talk to them on the cool, but you can't be like, you know, straight ghetto with the fucking shit, bro. You know, I'm like that outside. But when it comes down to professional, you don't even recognize me, fam. You, you know get your professional voice on you got to know the difference bro but some motherfuckers can't so i was happy to be a part of that but you know for motherfuck i wasn't paying attention god damn that's why i hate making videos sometimes and trying to click and do shit you get sidetracked a lot look look i'm getting my ass munched bro like i'm straight ass right now but anyway so we go from there and i get to start talking shit because I was upset at the decision they made so I started looking for another job um, I went to Full Sail University by the way um, rolled in full time they have a month to month class so every class is one month uh, five weeks long and you know you pretty much just accelerate it you get your bachelor's degree in two and a half years or if you go for a master's you get it in a year 
So I wanted that bad. I wanted to get my degree quick because I wanted to get into some companies and start making video games and, you know, just all kinds of stuff, man, that I wanted to do with that. But that ended up not happening. So I graduated with that, but I ended up getting a newer job in the process, which I think I have that when I had that happen on the channel, too. Um, I started that job in 2016 and um, uh, we ended up moving to another place after that, you know, to kind of give us a bit, some more space for the business we was doing. But um, I moved to uh, a new job that was paying another $4 an hour and they were giving me $5,000 a year for scholarship money. But, you know, I was only making like $18 an hour. So it really wasn't that great. It was okay. But, you know, so it was it was decent for what it was. I wanted to move out the house, though. I wanted to be on my own. Me and my girl wanted to get a spot together and all that. At this point, we had been together for like three years. So we was like, yeah, you know, going on three. You know, we want to get a spot together, see where this thing goes. So that's what we was working towards. You know, she's a teacher and everything. So she she was like, you know, yeah, that's fine. That's a place to get, you know. So we did. And, you know, I told my mom and everything. But I told her before I go, I'll make sure the company was doing enough to where, you know, I could still work on it and you know, make sure stuff was covered while, you know, she's working and everything is just going good. She was working for Dow at this point. I mean, we all was just making money, bro. We was banking. So, you know, well, for me, $18 an hour was banking, but, you know, um, so, you know, we all had our, uh, our moments and stuff. And then it just got to where, you know, 2017 was bad for RuneScape. I got hacked. So I decided, okay, one of my paychecks, I got a new phone. Uh, I'm going to get a new phone and change my authentication to this new phone. And I forgot to do it. And as soon as I forgot to do it, somebody hacked my Yahoo and bam, they ended up taking my shit. So um, I had to get that authenticator back on ASAP and make sure I never leave it off for no more than like two minutes. Even then, um, I wasn't I should have kept the device. I traded in device. It was like twenty dollars. I don't know why I let them take that damn thing. But the phone that I had at the time, they gave me $20 credit, and I was being a cheap ass trying to get everything. I could have probably just sold it first and then used that, but I was trying to get it then and there. It was uh, some special going on, and I was just trying to get the special. So I didn't have to put anything down on the phone, but, you know, uh, I think, no, I put 100 bucks down. So that's why I really I did. I think it was the Note 7, now that I think about it, that I was trying to get. And we all know what happened with that. I had to turn that bitch back in. But, um... But that was the thing. I wanted that Note 7 so bad. And uh, I said, I'm going to treat myself. First time buying phone, buying a phone ever. So I did. And in the process of doing that, I got fucking hacked. So that was fun. Um, didn't really want to play no more for a while. So I took like a six-month break from the game. Came back, though, when I saw some of the updates and stuff that was going on. Um, I don't know why Jagex has it so easy to reset your password with a fucking email because I'm used to typing in my username and just changing it on the little login form thing that we have. But, hey, I mean, times have changed, bro. Emails are so fucking easy to hack nowadays. It just sucks. And being in IT now, which that's my new job now. I'm a senior system support technician at a local college here. So, you know, real good times. Uh, I've been only I've only been here for eight months. So the last job that I had, I was getting the tuition and stuff. Really helped me help put me in this position. But uh, th that company just did not have any opportunities for me, and they lied to me. So that's really why I left them because. They said, oh, yeah, we're going to help you get an IT. We're going to do this, do this. And then, all, you know, all kinds of stuff happened. My manager from there, though, still, he's my mentor and stuff. He left because he said, you know, he just didn't feel comfortable being here. They was doing him wrong. They was doing me wrong. It's like they were getting angry because I was trying to leave and go do IT in the company, right? I'm trying to hire, find another division to work for in the company, and they got mad at it. So it's like, wow, uh, okay, so you know it, it just sucked man they was real assholes about it so i kind of got pissed off at it and i just decided you know what i'm gonna go elsewhere if y'all don't want to help me out i'm gonna go elsewhere and i ended up finding it so the wife of the sales rep um i mean the sales reps uh was the wife of somebody that worked here at the college and he recommended the job to me and then i ended up putting my app in and they helped me out with that and 
got me an interview so that's all I needed and once that I let them know hey here's my skills they put me through a little test to build a computer I showed them what I got and boom your boy is a new senior system support technician so um, it was fun it was real fun real fun so um, you know it's been fun it's been a lot of things I got more stories to tell on that so that's where we're at today I got my own little house and little spot you know it's a rental house but um, you know, I got my own little spot, little three bedroom and everything. And, you know, I got my own little office, got my gaming room set up in here. So, you know, I'll give you guys a tour and everything like that. So, you know, me and my girl, uh, stay together and stuff. And, you know, you know, we making things happen. Why the fuck do I keep forgetting to do that? So, you know, we making ways, baby. We making moves. And now I'm enrolled to get my master's of computer science. God damn, bro. Where are the times gone? So, uh, I'm enrolled in Colorado Tech University. I'll share more stories of the full sale experience and everything. But I'm glad to be back, man. So I've done the gauntlet. If you can't see this, mother, bro, my mouse wheel fucking sucks. But motherfucking cape, you know. Finally, oh shit, one pen. See, see, that's what you get for not paying attention. Oh fuck, bro. If I die, I'm so ass. But uh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, hopefully, man, uh, I can get some more corrupted kills. I got two, bro. It took me 50 deaths to get one. Like, I was so ass, bro. I was getting fucking wrecked. But um, I think I can make a guide on it enough. I mean, I know pretty much what to do. It's just I can't fucking click. But I want to consistently get some kills before I'm like, all right, here's a guide on what you should do. Here's a guide on what you have to do. But here's a video of me not doing what the fuck I say to do, right? You know, I don't want to do that. So um, I, I kind of hate when people make 99 guys and they got like 60 old, uh, fucking in the skill. Like, what the fuck, nigga? But, I mean, yeah, they might know. But, you know, everybody knows the best things to do. It's just a well or not they willing to do it. But to me, you shouldn't be willing to put up a guy, you know. But, hey, to each his own. But, uh, research, it can be good. So, I mean, some people can do really good research on the stuff and get the best tips and then share it with people. So, I'm not going to knock you guys if that's what you're into. But, I just I just don't like It's just me personally. Like, if you're going to tell me how to get 99 room crafting, you shouldn't be 49 room crafting, right? That's just the way I see it. Not everybody agrees with that, but that's just me. But anywho, uh, hopefully we can get into the roll of things again and start putting these vids up. Um, I got, let's see, 50 kills, I think, from the regular gauntlet. Motherfuck, bro, I fucking suck. It's time for me to go to bed. Well, that's all I got for you guys, man. So hopefully this update has helped y'all see what your boy has been up to and we can finally get back to where we need to be. Oh, are you serious? Bro, I did damage. I took damage, but whatever, man. So we'll get back into it. But I got a lot of the uh, corrupted deaths. I had the mini deaths. And I got a lot of the uh, regular ones I did. I think I did 50k C worth. So I'll share that with y'all. Maybe make a little guide for you to try to help you out. We'll see. But we got big plans. We still got our Steel Man series that I want to get into. I haven't been really interested in the Iron Man stuff yet. So maybe that's down the line. But, you know, really my time has given me a couple hours every day after work and the weekends to really do stuff until school starts for me, which I don't start to October. So. I got another two months, but, you know, just bear with me, man. I'm going to try to get into this stuff, start streaming, start doing stuff like that. But I got to learn how to do school with this, too. So I don't want to leave for another year because of school. So y'all going to have to give me a little bit, man, and understand that I may only do stuff on the weekends. But if I can at least make videos throughout the week and then on the weekend and then say a Sunday release a video, hey, it's once a week and it's something, right? <laughs> so... Hopefully, I'll see you guys around, man. I haven't gone anywhere. I'm still here. I'm Moist Alex. I hope you guys have enjoyed this update video. I will be posting uh, some videos of the damn kills I've done uh, with the Corrupted and some fuck-ups. But I didn't record voice in it, so you kind of missed all the cursing and shit I did. But, hey, I'm still going to be doing the Corrupted, so there's plenty more of that that can happen. So, y'all stay tuned, man. I'm Moist Alex. I'll see you guys later. Finally back, baby. See you guys around. Right.